Fluttermane is an ancient form of Misdreavus discovered in Area Zero. In this video, we'll talk about how to get the most out of this Paradox Pokemon in the competitive scene, particularly in Regulation F, which is the official VGC format as of now. Let's go through the basics. Fluttermane is both a Ghost and Fairy type, and is only weak to Steel and fellow Ghost types. It has a base stat total of 570, which is the standard for most Paradox Pokemon. Stat-wise, it's a triple threat with an impressive base 135 in Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed. This compensates for its base 55 HP, Attack, and Defense. It has an ability called Protosynthesis, which raises its highest stat by 30%, 50% of its speed, when in harsh sunlight or if holding a booster energy. With all these being said, how exactly do you get the most out of Fluttermane? The optimal strategy is to activate Protosynthesis and overwhelm your opponent with fast and powerful attacks. To do that, you'll need damage boosters and speed control. Choice Specs, Pixie Plate, or Booster Energy, combined with Terrestrialization and Prankster Tailwind, is a reliable way to get this going. Now let's cover weaknesses. Fluttermane is easily taken out by physical moves, especially if they have added priority. So protection from these, as well as redirection, is very important. Indeedee is a good choice, as it can do both with Psychic Search and Follow Me. Fire types are excellent partners to threaten the Steel types, with Torkoal, Ninetales, and Chiyu being optimal choices. Drought would activate Protosynthesis and increase Firepower, while Beads of Ruin will further increase the damage output. Nature and EVs boil down to player preference and the metagame. You might invest in speed with a Timid Nature to ensure that you move first or in special attack with a modest nature to maximize damage output. Here's the thing, Fluttermane has been a top-used Pokemon since it became legal in Regulation B all the way to the current format. At this point, every Fluttermane user has their own spin on nature and EVs to complement their playstyle. The same could be said about the Terra types, with Fairy being the standard and others as an adaptation. As for movesets, Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, and Shadow Ball are standard picks, with the fourth move left up to the player's preference. Popular options include Protect, as well as Icy Wind on Choice Spec sets. Let's try to build a team. So far, we have Fluttermane with Booster Energy for an immediate power boost, Tornadus with Covert Cloak for speed control, and Indeedee for redirection, as well as protection from priority moves. Looking at this diagram, it appears our trio would already cover for some weaknesses. Therefore, the other half of our team must not only cover steel, electric, ice, and rock, but also their type weaknesses. Iron Treads would cover all remaining weaknesses of our trio, but will add a water and ground weakness. Ogre Pond Hearth Flame would cover for those, as well as the ice, steel, and rock types should Iron Treads fall. She would add a flying type weakness, which is easily covered by our final member, Raging Bolt. It would add a dragon and fairy weakness, which is well covered by other members of the team. Here's a team sheet that I created. Use team ID RXLNDN if you wish to test it out. I'll wrap up this video with a demonstration in Pokemon Showdown. As we can only bring 4 out of 6 Pokemon at a time, you can refer to our diagram for possible pairs and cores that may not be shown in the following battle. I'll also put the replay link and Pokepaste in the description and pinned comments for future reference. Enjoy!
that wraps up Fluttermean 101. I'd love to read your thoughts, so feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.